This is how you can make a looking for group command using your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a god tier subscription on discord or a super god tier subscription on YouTube. You can also get any of these bot packages. They are fully functional custom made bot packages based off of a specific topic. If you're interested in any of this, the links will be in the description below. And with that, let's go ahead and get in the code. We can start off by going over to community and we're going to go ahead and create lfg.js and here we're going to get our slash command builder we can also get our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js then we can go ahead and do module.exports and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder and then we can go ahead and set a name here this is going to be lfg and we can go ahead and set a description we can go ahead and say look for a video game group then we can go ahead and add a string option and we're going to do option arrow function option dot set name so we can go ahead and get our game and we're going to go ahead and set a description we can go ahead and say the name of the game to search for and we're going to go ahead and set required to true then we can add a comma we're going to do async executes so we can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up i'm going to do var and we can go ahead and pass in our options and then we can set that equal to our interaction and we do var game equals options that get string that is going to be our game string just like that then we can do var members equals await interaction dot guild dot members dot fetch and then we're going to go ahead and do var group equals an empty array and we can also go ahead and do await members dot for each we're going to do async member and we can open this up. And before we go any further, I just want to say that this does require the guild presences intent. So if you don't have that, you go ahead and enable it within the developer portal and define it within your index.js file. Then we can do if no member.presence or no member.presence.activities and we can do zero. Then we can just go ahead and return and do nothing. Then we can do var current game equals await member.presence.activities zero. And then we can do dot name just like that. And we can do if current game dot two lower case. And then we can do equals our game dot two lower case. Then we can go ahead and do our group dot push. And we're going to go ahead and make an object with our member, which is going to be our member.id, and our game, which is going to be our current game, just like that. So then we can go ahead and say else return. So basically what we're doing here is we're making sure the members that we're filtering have a presence. And then if they do, we're going to go ahead and set both the current game and the game string that the user making this command wrote in. And we're going to set that to, to lowercase, so it's basically caps lock doesn't matter. Then we're going to check to see if they equal each other. And if they do, that means the member that we're checking does, in fact, have that game on their status, meaning we can go ahead and push that member to the group of members playing that game object. Now, it is important to note if the member does not have the game on their status, this will not work. So it does have to be a public status. Then we can do group equals group dot slice and we can do zero and we can do 2000 and we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're going to go ahead and set a color. This is going to be blurple. And then we're going to go ahead and make our embed handling below. So we're going to start by saying var string and then we can do await group dot for each. We can do async value and we can actually go ahead and open this up here. In here, we're going to do const member equals await interaction dot guild dot members dot cash dot get. We can get our value dot member just like that. Then we can do string and we can go ahead and do plus equals and we can make a string. I'm going to do member and we can bold this and we can do interaction dot user dot username and then we can bold this again and we can go ahead and do our value dot member and we can go ahead and say is on and we can do value dot game just like that and we're also going to go ahead and add a backslash n so we basically went ahead and created our string for each member that we have so this is basically formatting the array that we can actually use within our embed and then we're going to go ahead and do if string meaning if we have our values if we have any people at all then we can open this up and we're going to do our string equals string dot replace and we're going to go ahead and do undefined and we're going to replace that with an empty string just like that then we can go ahead and say embed and then we can come down here we're going to do dot set description and we can go ahead and do members playing and we can do a backslash tick and we're going to get our game and we can do backslash tick again then we can go ahead and do that set description and we can go ahead and get our string just like that so the final thing we have to do is some basic error handling so we're going to say else and we can open this up and we're going to go ahead and do embed dot set description and we can go ahead and get an arrow just like this and we can go ahead and say looks like no one is playing 
and we can go ahead and get our game variable just like that. So next, we're going to go ahead and send this so we can do a way to interaction our apply. We can get our embeds and we can get our embed. And we're also going to go ahead and set infermal to true on that message as well. Now, I actually did make a couple of mistakes, so let's go ahead and fix that. So the first thing is right here, instead of interaction.user.username, it's going to be our member.user.username. That's really important to fix. Then we're going to come down here and we're also going to go ahead and set a title. It's not going to be our description. This is going to be set title. And then our description is going to be the string. That's just a typo I messed up there. So after we fix those two things, we should actually be good to go. One thing that I did do up here is I did a lowercase l. Just make sure that's capital. Just make sure you have all that correct. And with that, we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server here, the only game that anyone's actually playing is Visual Studio code so we can actually go ahead and do lfg and we're just going to do visual studio code and we can actually go ahead and send it as you can see we have our embed saying members playing visual studio code and we have our member that is me and it says is on visual studio code so let's try this again this time let's do visual studio and we can do code and we can just kind of mess up the caps lock. As you can see, the caps lock will not matter as it's going to equal the exact same thing. Right here, it's going to pull the exact same member. All right, so let's go ahead and actually try this on a bigger scale. I'm in a pretty big Discord server, so we can test this out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing. We can do Visual Studio Code. We can go ahead and send it. As you can see, this time we have every single member within the server that has their Visual Studio Code presence on, just like this. All right, so let's just go ahead and do rapid fire. I'm just going to go ahead and put in some different games. We can do LFG, and we can do Valorant. This time we can do LFG, we can do Roblox, just a bunch of different games like that. As you can see, we got a lot of people playing all of these different games within the server, and it gives you all of the members playing those games. So the final thing we can do is we can do LFG, and we can just put in a random string and as you can see it's going to say no one is playing that game because obviously there's no one playing a game with this name in the server the other thing we could do is we could do lfg and we could misspell a game so we could do fortnite and we could just go ahead and spell it wrong like that and as you can see obviously same exact thing no one's going to be playing that game as well so that's so you can make an advanced lfg command for your discord.js version 14 bot if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community and with that i will see you guys in the next video